Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. Throughout the month of July, Appalachian State University is host to a festival of music, dance, theater, film, and visual arts in a series called An Appalachian Summer. Producer Derek Long traveled to Boone to bring us the story. If you're heading to Boone in July, an Appalachian Summer Festival is waiting for you. Three of the hallmarks of the Summer Festival are innovation, accessibility, and high quality artistic programming. We combine those with a dynamic series of programming that people won't find at festivals across the country. A big part of that programming is music, from classical and pop to chamber. We do um, some amazing chamber programs thanks to our artistic partner Gil Morgenstern, but he also does a great job at doing innovative things with um, the written word and images and text and really making chamber music something new and evolving. And dance is another evolving component. Over the years the festival has tried to grow our dance audience in a really straightforward and dynamic way by presenting dance companies like Paul Taylor who's here this year who we have a long-standing relationship with um, next to newer dance company like Palabalus. On the visual arts side of the festival there's a sculpture series. The uh, Rosen Outdoor Sculpture Competition and Exhibition is the oldest portion of our program and it brings 10 nationally recognized sculptors to our campus every year to present great contemporary American work. The Turchin Center for Visual Arts houses six exhibition spaces. So the Halpert Biennial is our 2D competition and it brings artists from all across the United States who are doing new experimental work in, in all media. So that's a great way to see what's going on in the art world in the United States. We try to always say that um, our exhibitions and our, and our visual arts program is a little bit like a symphony. You know, you can move from one gallery to another gallery and it's like a quiet, you know, contemplative movement and then next you have this bang of a really great show that has a lot of pop. And we really try to plan our program so that there is a nice rhythm so that folks uh, have a great experience here and, and can see the shows bouncing off of one another. The festival is about more than just viewing the arts. It's about getting involved in the arts. Folks can come here for a week, take a workshop in figure drawing or painting or plain air painting, which you get to travel around the mountains and, and paint on site. Um, all kinds of opportunities for adults to come and do that. Take a little, little mini vacation, but a learning vacation. One of the great things that folks can do if they sit down and look at our calendar, they can see in the same week a symphony performance, a chamber performance, a zydeco performance, an art opening, a sculpture program, workshops for children and teens. There's something going on every day. It's kind of like a buffet. They can stack their, their week or their weekend or however long they're here up with all of these great events, kind of make their festival their own unique experience. An Appalachian Summer Festival takes place in and around the Appalachian State University campus in Boone, and the entire month of July is packed with events for the festival. For information on visiting and tickets, go to appsummer.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.